Social media has been fertile soil for blogger, fashionista and presenter Kim Jade, who's used it to flourish as one of SA's top 10 influencers. Tapping into hip-hop style, she's built her brand from her love of sneakers right up to making the Forbes Africa 30 under 30 list. Hey, Inside ASA, my name is Kim Jade. Welcome to my home. Come inside. I grew up in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe and came to South Africa to get my honours degree in social work and psychology from Stelly's. <laughs> from there, it was kind of a crazy journey to get into the industry. I started as a model while I was studying. It was my side hustle to make some money on the side, doing a little modelling job here and there. And when I finally graduated, I decided to pursue modelling and being in the fashion industry full time, which was... I think a little bit scary for my parents because as you guys know, people of color, they're like, what do you mean you want to be a model for a living? We paid for a whole honest degree and now you want to take pictures? And yeah, I think that was a little bit of a challenge in the beginning, but ultimately when they saw it become successful and they saw the ads on TV and they saw the magazines, they were 100% behind it. Kim started her show, Kicking It with Kim Jade, on YouTube and Instagram, using sneaker culture as a jump off point to interview a range of creative and famous guests. Hey guys, so welcome to probably the best room in the house. Anyone that follows me is very familiar with my sneaker wall. And this is Ishan. So he is the founder and head designer of Haku, which is an incredible local brand. And we've been working together for the past few years, making some iconic looks. And what Zesh specializes in is upcycling, yeah. which is so incredible for our environment. Everybody is super eco-conscious at the moment. Uh, yeah, so I love upcycling, zero waste. Like for example, this jacket made from a whole lot of offcuts, zero waste from previous outfits. Mm. The pants is also upcycled from older pants that doesn't fit to make a new design. Fire. For other clients, he's made a red bandana jacket or a black one and all of that fabric never gets thrown away the leftovers and the scraps he puts it all together and makes one brand new jacket fashion and being able to express myself through clothes and dressing up has always been something that's always excited me you can completely transform who you are that day by how you dress so you can wake up in the morning in your pajamas, like average and normal, and put on these clothes that will transform you. It's like how a superhero puts on a cape and he's automatically transformed into this other character. That's how I approach fashion and dressing up. During COVID, when I launched my YouTube channel, I launched a show called Kicking It With Kim Jade. In the show, we explore sneaker culture and we explore how it ties into fashion and music and entertainment and sports. And through doing the show, and through my own travels, my passion for sneakers grew. Hence, this crazy collection. Um, and this is only a fraction of it. There are tons of amazing sneakers here and a lot of them are super special to me. But I think ones that I can point out, this is Coral Bape. They are special for me because these sneakers are made in Japan. It's rare. You can't even buy this shoe in South Africa. And my boyfriend got them for me for Christmas, so they were very special. He bought them in Dubai. In the sneaker community, we have what we call a grail. A grail shoe is something that is very sentimental, but also quite often very valuable. This is the first collaboration that the Jordan brand did with a Latino artist. His name is Jay Balvin. And so it came via New York, which costs so much money, but it's so worth it. And it's one of my most special pairs. There's such a cool saying. It's like, I make shoe contact before I make eye contact. It really is a thing in sneaker culture. Among the reasons Kim is so popular is that she shares knowledge on how to monetize a social media following and turn it into a career. It's an education for her fellow creatives and entertainers. So this is my girl, Rari. First of all, she's the baddest. Dude, she's amazing. She's just a sweet, genuine, amazing friend and super talented. I'm someone that firmly believes that if you have a platform, you'll push your people on, like, especially if they're good at what they do. Oh, so, that's yeah, so sweet. It's the truth. <laughs> what do we enjoy most about spring? The passion, honey. Guys, winter this year has been painful. I'm saying snow. I don't have a snow fit. What do you mean? 
but I have a spring fit. So definitely the fashion that comes with spring. It just feels like everything's coming back to life. Yes. Naturally. So it's fun. And we can finally be outdoors and do outdoor activities and we love exactly. to travel and we love to be outside. Hence why we're doing our next activity. Ah, quad biking! <laughs> As the antidote to studios and sound stages, Kim's the first to tell you that her happy place is being in the great outdoors. I grew up with four brothers. We were always outdoors, riding our bikes, swimming in lakes, just like living our best lives. So for me, that's why it's so great as an adult to be able to be outdoors. That's why when we travel, we're by the beach or out by a lake. And it's just great because there's no need for glam or makeup or styling. You can just be one with nature. The outdoors is so appealing to me personally because I feel like it's the perfect time for us to be ourselves. There's no pressure, no cameras. We genuinely get to have genuine conversation. The vibes are good and everything is just always positive and that's what we need. Honestly, having a quad bike experience with my girl Rari is so amazing. Also like normally people think this is a boys thing to do, like a boys activity, but the girls are killing it. From her start posting on how to look cute on a budget to being voted one of the 100 most influential Africans, where does Kim go from here? My greatest accolade would be recognized for Forbes 30 Under 30. But my greatest accomplishment is registering my own business, having something that's mine and pushing that and marketing that and being able to employ other young creative people. So for right now, that's it. 2024, you'll have to wait and see. To Kim Jade, life and career can be a permanent spring if you keep planting new inspiring ideas and growing them with hard work.